Welcome back. So in our last video, we talked about hierarchy and just style exploration for our cards. We uh, did some very interesting stuff in terms of our image over here, even though we kind of admitted to ourselves that this may not be a scalable feature. We also talked a lot about just typography and the hierarchy that we have within our card. So we started working with uh, what we wanted to be like in terms of what we wanted to be the main source of like a user's attention. So when I first come to this card, the first thing that pops to me is the actual price. I made that uh, stand out much more in comparison to like the product, the product name. We also added uh, just some description content over here. But as you can tell, there is a bunch of uh, great hierarchy here in terms of color between something like this, but also in terms of just a uh, size uh, within elements. So I have larger cards here. The next thing I want to do is I want to think about like just user interest. So that's a big uh, part of this current application that we're building for habitual. So we haven't really touched upon that a lot and that's what I want to do next. So I'm just going to make sure that's affixed to the bottom. Okay. Let's just uh, bring this out just a little bit more. So I'm kind of liking, I'm digging this uh, this style a bit. We may not go with this color in the background, even though it's pretty interesting, but let's think about some other elements that we could build. I'm going to uh, steal one of these elements, bring it out, and I'm gonna have a section maybe called like your interests. And over here, I'm going to change that to like a more bolded, uh, bolded copy. And I may have another that says like, see more. And I don't know if I have an underlined style. So when I'm creating these text styles, I may have underlined styles. I may have all that kind of stuff. I do have a link. I think I do. Yes, perfect. I try to create like for different use cases. I'm not too like strict, but I want to set some stuff up early just so it makes my life so easy. Okay. And for that, I mean, we can maybe make that yellow. I don't want to have our page, you know, exploding with uh, color. I want to keep things really simple because just the nature of our product, let's take a step back. If, if we think about our product, there's a lot of images in terms of product images that could introduce a bunch of color that we can't necessarily control. And if we start splashing color everywhere, it'll muddy down the experience. It'll make it really, really amateurish in a way, um, make it seem kind of childish. So, you know, think about that uh, when you're incorporating color. I'm just kind of using like a dark yellow. I know that's uh, accessible. So this shouldn't expand beyond here. And this is fine where it currently is. I'm just gonna set the constraints on that. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna group this in a frame. I like to keep things really neat um, while I'm designing. So that way like I can reuse all these types of things. So I have title and um, link. So this link is gonna push them to like a new page possibly. Beautiful. Next, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna think about like your interest. So I want a, a little kind of feature that, you know, maybe it has little cards in there uh, where users can just like maybe swipe through. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create like a larger frame. Okay, and I'm just going to give it a radius of like 10 pixels. I want to give it a fill of like white and an effect. Oh, see, I have like, I have shadows here built out as well, which is a great. So we have large shadow, look at that, perfect. So you can even make your effects shadows and we're gonna get into all that much later. This is just so it speeds up my workflow, it'll speed up your workflow. Don't get married to anything too early, but we'll have something we can work with. So that's really subtle, really beautiful the way that card just kind of pops up just a little bit. We can uh, start thinking about, you know, do we want our elements to be really flat like this or do we want to actually start building cards that have actual shadow? 
So I know I'm mixing and matching a bit here and that's totally fine. I mean, this is totally about exploring what our options are, but I wanna start thinking um, about what cards can look like as well, like these types of cards. Um, it could translate to me building out this card differently in the future. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to give this an actual layout grid. I don't think I have a layout grid for this. So I'm just gonna have to create one from scratch and I'm gonna to go to columns and just give it like three, three simple columns. We'll have a margin of uh, 16 pixels and a gutter of 16. Okay, perfect. And I'm just gonna steal this, bring it into my frame. So these can be like a little navigation that we can build. So we have gaming. I know we're kind of just defaulting to stuff like that, but it really helps just to think about the different types of options we can have. So if I think about this as a container, we could have multiple things like that. Maybe tech is one of them. Travel, I don't know. I'm just kind of a spitball in here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually make this a frame and call this like my nav. And we can do auto layout on it and we can space it by like 48 pixels. So we can have like a carousel thing going on here. Like I can have another one that bleeds off. As you can tell, like I have a clipping content. So anything that bleeds off, it will not show up. So I have education. So this is fine. Uh, for just like a dynamic uh, nav that we can swipe through. We're gonna make a line just to let the user know that, hey, you are on this line. Right, sorry, this uh, section. Okay. And what we're gonna do next is we're actually gonna have some like product images in here possibly. Whoops. That was too large. So, you know, I, I'm probably just going to take this, make a copy of that, bring it into here, just to show you what it could look like. So we're starting to think about like, just like style from the perspective, just different types of uh, styles. Like we have like a, this full image instead of this. And I'm gonna start to see like, you know, what do I like more? What's something that I should probably take into account? Okay, so uh, we've been going with like price as the larger, the larger element, and we can stick with that. I guess the more uh, prominent element. So we have product name. What I'm going to do is I am going to just so perfect. And I'm just gonna make sure that's there and this is not gonna bleed beyond that. So this is gonna be a frame. I know there's a lot of frames, right? And uh, that's just so we keep things really clean and it helps us as we build Fidelity, we can easily edit all these different types of things. Like once we start building out a design system, we can start thinking more about like, oh, what are the different types of elements we need? What are the sizes? Oh, I have this already built within a frame, so I can just pull this from that and just reuse and make a much more consistent design. So we got product details, beautiful. Let's make that auto layout. I mean, I like using auto layout. You don't need to use auto layout. Like in this case, we can probably get away with just like zero. Um, okay, what else we have here? So we can even make this a frame. We don't have to make it auto layout because it is adhering to our larger frames layout grid. And we can just call this um, like small card. So we're starting to see like the details and you know, I'm not having a description over here because it's way too small. If there's a sale, then I have to think about what that looks like as well on this card. So making sure this is centered. 
This will be only affected by the left and this should only be affected by the right. So if I start to move this, oops. Interesting, that's just because of the auto layout. So that's another thing, auto layout isn't necessarily responsive. So keep that in mind. I'm not worried because I'm using uh, mobile only. So 16 pixels is perfect spacing. And now we can actually start spacing the whole thing. We can use auto layout for this whole thing if we wanted to. So I'm actually going to do that. I'm not gonna actually use auto layout, but If I go up here and I hold a shift and down, I'm gonna move in increments of four. And I can just easily position this so we have enough space. Okay, so I'm gonna turn off my grid because I can't really see what I've been doing. So we're gonna create hierarchy within this, uh, this level of the nav. And as you can tell, like we have started to create something really interesting here. Like maybe this is like a your interest card. And uh, what happens here is that for each of your interests, they'll provide like the top three products so you can just swipe through. So very interesting feature that we built. And I'm starting to like this kind of exploration in terms of very nice, subtle shadow of the card. I may actually go back to this card and update that. Uh, this probably needs like a maybe a light stroke what we can do here is just add that um perfect and maybe we can just even think about like what the background could look like i mean right now it's standard white what happens if i just add like a light gray like that things look a little differently what happens if i like add um like a gradient so different things to think about i think white's perfectly fine right now and that's how you create like just a little feature from scratch, but also just kind of building upon your style exploration that we have here. Uh, we can start seeing, okay, this may work. I actually may like these images. This is the right amount of hierarchy. And I'll probably go back and test with users on this to see if this interaction makes sense. Like, are they swiping on the whole card? Are they swiping on these little, uh, little things in the nav? What does this interaction look like? Is it confusing for them? But that's how you kind of start to build that uh, level of fidelity. We're going to keep on doing that in our next video.